I have mentioned a number of times this website, public, I'm sorry, Popular Information. It was uh, initiated and run by Judd Legum, L-E-G-U-M, Judd Legum. You can find it at Popular Information at Substack.com. Substack. It's, it's a website for all kinds of shit. S-U-B-S-T-A-C-K. Substack.com. But it's popular information at Substack.com. And you can go free for a while, but eventually you have to buy a subscription, which I did. It's $50 a year, kind of like what the subscription costs here. But Judd has put together some incredible investigative articles um, he's got one up as of this morning. And what he's talking about now is something that's going on in New Hampshire. <laughs> New Hampshire. Hmm. He said, what is being promoted in that state is an effort to stop critical race theory from indoctrinating students K through 12, what it is, it's being promoted that way, but it's actually a push to stop truthful information about American history. Okay, we all know that. But here's what Judd is reporting on. There's a new bill introduced in the New Hampshire legislature. It's a teacher loyalty bill. Holy fuck, a teacher loyalty bill, which would, among other things, prohibit, quote, teaching that the United States was founded on racism, end quote. So in other words, this bill being introduced in New Hampshire legislature, like so many of these attempts to stop something that's not happening in K through 12 schools, critical race theory, the teaching thereof, um, what this bill requires is that teachers lie. Not only do they have to take a loyalty oath, but then they have to lie. As a teacher, this is the rot of Christian fascism. Here it is, another example. A reporter for WMUR, which is the ABC affiliate in New Hampshire, asked one of the bill's sponsors, and it's a woman named Erica Layton, she's a representative, a Christian fascist, the reporter asked this woman how a teacher could, quote, address something like the three-fifths compromise in the Constitution, which basically invalidated the humanity of enslaved people who were black. How does that square in the new legislation if it becomes law? End quote. The reporter noted, quote, that's a racist aspect of America found America's founding, end quote. So Judd Legum's website asked co-sponsor Erica Derry, the one I just mentioned, or Erica Layton, uh, I'm sorry, Erica for Derry. Derry, New Hampshire. So Judd asked Erica how she thinks teachers should approach a subject like the three-fifths compromise in the Constitution if this, this bill in, in New Hampshire, HB 1255, which explicitly prohibits the teaching that U.S. was uh, founded on racism, what, what if that becomes law? How should teachers approach a subject like the three-fifths compromise if this bill becomes law? Erica Layton, Christian fascist representative in New Hampshire, said, well, teachers should explain that the three-fifths compromise was an effort to end slavery, which this crazy bitch said was, quote, already on the way out. End quote. Already on the way out. The only problem with what she said, it's all fucking lies. But Erica Layton is a Christian fascist. So she can say whatever she wants to because God will allow it. 
and encourage it and bless her for it. So she thinks. Scholars agree, of course, that there is no evidence whatsoever that the three-fifths compromise was intended to end slavery. I almost have to, uh, have to laugh when I see that somebody is promoting that idea. Slavery persisted for nearly a century after the Constitution that contained three-fifths compromise was ratified. And what it did, you know this, it conferred additional political power to states that had large populations of enslaved people. That was the whole idea. But they weren't going to consider them to be fully human because of the opening lines of the Constitution. So we hold these truths to be self-evident. All men are created equal. Well, yeah, but if you have a three-fifths of a person, that's not a man. That's not a woman. That's not a child. That's a thing. That's a thing. And we're only going to count the thing for the purpose of representation in the National Congress. Sick fucking stuff. I mean, but we're not supposed to tell our children that. The three-fifths compromise conferred that additional political power to states that had those large populations of enslaved people. And in doing that, it helped entrench the institution of slavery. Unlike this crazy bitch Erica Layton, who says, well, it was supposed, it was designed to end slavery. Where the fuck do these people, I, I, I mean, are they educated? Uh, they're Christians, we know that, but... What prompts a person to say this kind of stuff? You know the answer to that as well as I do. Now that same bullshit lie was advanced by a lawmaker in Tennessee, Representative Justin Lafferty, a Christian fascist, earlier this year to support legislation banning critical race theory. And Judd reports that legislation is now law in Tennessee. And as popular information has reported over the past few months, that law is currently being invoked to try to prevent second graders in Tennessee from reading about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. You hear me? I'm sorry. I know you do. I know you do. Um, this bill that's being considered in New Hampshire, according to Judd, also prohibits, quote, any doctrine or theory promoting a negative account or representation of the founding and history of the United States of America in New Hampshire public schools, which does not include the worldwide context of how outdated and discouraged, of now outdated and discouraged practices. Now, end quote. Now, the primary sponsor of the bill, another woman, if you can fucking believe this, another Christian fascist, her name is Alicia Likas. She told the Concord, New Hampshire Monitor that that provision, the one I just quoted for you, requires teachers to explain away slavery in the United States because it was ubiquitous. It was worldwide at the time. This is what she said. Slavery was a terrible thing, but a lot of people don't know slavery happened all over the world. That's the setting you need to be teaching. If you're going to teach about the founding of the country, you need to teach in its proper setting. So you know what was happening in the rest of the world so you have a better idea of why people did the way they did, end quote. Again, this is historical bullshit. But it's a classic example of Christian fascist whataboutism. But it's still bullshit. Long before slavery was abolished here, it was abolished in other countries, including Spain in 1811, Mexico in 1829, Britain in 1834, France in 1848. 
Now, the ACLU of New Hampshire says this bill is, quote, unconstitutional and builds on the disturbing trend of erasing America's legacy of racism and slavery, end quote. That's obviously its intent. No correction to ACLU, I wouldn't even attempt. But the ACLU, it goes without saying, I guess that's the intent. Erasing America's legacy of racism and slavery. Now, teachers trying to comply with this bill, according to Jed Legum at his website, it, it should have become law, will be in a bind. If a teacher discusses the so-called worldwide context of slavery on, on, on a given day, can they discuss slavery in the United States without mentioning this context, say, the next day? Or do they have to keep referring back? Well, slavery was here, but you know, it, uh, everybody was doing it, so what the hell? Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com. And never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.